to take me right yeah the, this book that we're reading now to make i wrote it exactly. this book in january you wrote it in january of this year i i literally wrote the book new year's eve that's when i started and oh i wrote my. a chapter every day and then on the 13th day that's when i stopped posting <laughs> chapters to actually focus on writing the book itself wow that was actually quick so that was a matter of months then right yeah, because it came out what in uh yeah, March, late March, March. Yeah, that was really quick. Yeah, it's a short story. So, uh, huh? It's a short story with no sex. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's a it's a cliffhanger is what I call it, but um. So I'm just really, really excited and ready to get into this book. I, I with Miss Hannah, the way it is, I, I don't really, you know, I just want you to tell us like you did last time. Open it up. Oh my goodness. Sonia rolling her eyes about Hannah. <laughs> I <ain't no> Hannah. <laughs> Open us up last time about the characters. That way we'll, we'll be able to follow, you know. So go ahead. The floor is open to you, ladies. Thank you for, for coming in. Go, Miss. <laughs> now, we welcome to you, all the way from Virginia, Miss Tracy Gilmore. Woo! <laughs> go ahead, Tracy. OK, so the, uh, the book is called Played by Rouge, which deals with uh, Hannah Scale is a woman who's having an affair with a married man named Wyatt, uh, who happens to be an internet billionaire. Hannah is your, your average woman. She's attractive, but she is out looking for work and currently unemployed. She runs into Wyatt, who is looking to hire someone, and when he hired her, she did such a great job that um, they later became friends. Of course, Wyatt's wife finds out about the relationship that Hannah has with Wyatt, and she tells him that he has to fire Hannah. So after he fired Hannah, they still con continued their relationship. But New Year's Eve, Wyatt makes a promise to Hannah that He's going to come and stay with her. He's going to leave his wife, Emma, and they're going to be together. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. they don't have a way, and Hannah ends up being charged with murder. And Emma's the one that's dead. So the story goes on with mm -hmm. Hannah trying to explain how she couldn't have done it, and then everybody believing that she did. She runs into uh, Detective Cole, who comes along to solve the case. Stop smiling, Sonia. Calm down. <laughs> Sonia! It is great. All I said was going on. All I said was Cole. She's beaming hard. Goodness. Oh so uh, Detective oh. Cole is assigned to the case, and he's trying to um, figure out whether or not Hannah did, in fact, kill Emma. But of course, he ends up having feelings towards Hannah the longer that he spends time with her. Then you have uh, Gloria, who is assigned to the case to help Hannah as a defense. And it just becomes this mixed up mess once you get further into the story. As Sonya discovered... <laughs> What happened to her lovely man, Cole, when he uh, finally had his encounter with Hannah? So, ladies, oh. what are your thoughts on the book? Come on, oh, son. You know you <laughs> Go ahead. I know That's you have a lot of bones to pick. I didn't. Y'all know I'm I gonna, talk a lot, so I'm going to. I didn't even expect it. It was like the ending was such a shock to me. Oh, wait, 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 oh. Sonya, wait, wait a minute, Sonya, wait a minute, Sonya. Okay. How far have you gotten, Wendy? Oh. I'm not here, but go ahead and talk. Are you sure? Go ahead. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna read it regardless. Okay. I had took a sale out last week because I was so busy. Okay. But I'm I'm getting there. Getting there. I was okay. shocked at the ending. I was just like, really? Oh Lord, Cole. <laughs> Mix emotions together. He is so nice looking though. Oh, oh my God. Come on, Sonya. You can do it. Come on. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Don't just talk about the ending. What about the beginning? What about Wyatt and, and Emma? And how did you feel about Gloria and what the conversation that she had with Wyatt? Oh my goodness, she's just all the pieces about oh. <laughs> she just can't get in with it. Come on, Sonia, what's up, baby? I don't, I don't even remember that part. Oh wow. I don't even remember that part. You don't know but, you don't remember anybody but Cole. No, I was like I was okay. Oh, Anna. I really liked her. Until the end. <laughs> I really liked Hannah. I I mean I Wow. A typical female. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. A typical female? A typical female. I mean, I don't think she was typical. I just I felt bad for her. And I mean, just reading throughout the book, like I really started to like her. Like I like her being with Cole. And I was like, yeah, Hannah and Cole, they're going to end up together and live happily ever after. Kind of suspected. So, what about, how did you feel about Wyatt? I started to like him after a while. You know when I started liking Wyatt? <laughs> when they had the threesome. What? Oh my. Wait, wait, wait. What? No, she didn't. Wait, what did she say? Oh, wow. Oh, my. Wendy, how far did you get on the bus? Wait, Wendy? what? No, go ahead. That's what... Go ahead. Wait, I didn't get that. Did. Yeah, what, what, what was that about? I thought that, I thought that was difficult. Did you? Just for them to be like that. I thought that choice changed the course of everything. It did. Yeah, I, uh, I really did. Because it's I think right. that was a line crosser. <sighs> It seemed like after that episode. It Which was like episode? Wyatt, the threesome episode. Oh, oh, okay, okay. It seemed like Wyatt and um Cole kind of became friends, even though they never discussed it after it happened. But it, I was like, wow. Mm, what about doing. what about Ooh. what Wyatt said to Gloria when he asked her, "Did she like her job?" Gloria, it's not Gloria. or Grace? It's Grace. I mean Grace. Grace. I'm sorry, Grace. Grace. I was like, this is Gloria. It was Grace. I was like, wonder who Gloria was too. Um, My character. Grace. I mean, what, character. why was he digging like that though? Really. I'm not really, I mean, it's like he was trying to dig in a, a, a part of her that she kept trying to be stern with, like she had it all together and she was this, uh, he probably knew a part of her long for something, something great, not just your average routine person. What do you guys think about that? I am so sorry, Grace. but like I'm at work, so. I can't hear Sonya. You can't hear me? Can yeah, I can't hear you. Hear you. Okay. You're trying to focus yeah, on work? work? I'm trying to focus because I'm in the office and like I have the cameras on, so I have to proctor all the students that are testing, so I'm kind of in and out. But I'm here. Yeah. But, um, that was like, I don't know, but like she eventually called him after a while. I didn't think she was going to, though. But she wasn't, I don't think she... She wasn't happy with, let me see. I don't know, I don't think she was happy with her job. I think she wanted more than what she was getting from her job. 
And from her job or from cold? Well, both. <laughs> <laughs> Especially from cold. Yeah. I was really. Oh my God. So, so, ladies, do you think that, okay, like you mentioned, like his job, I mean, her job and the relationship with Cole, it seems like she wanted. I think she wanted more from both. To kind of, it seemed like he was talking about you being, her being lonely. Then at, at one point, it seemed like he was talking about her job. So that, that conversation kind of intertwined me. And I don't see you guys no more. Really? I'm still here. I see you. We see, we see, I see everybody. We see you. Everybody okay. in the dark. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about Emma and Monica? OMG. Those two <laughs> pit bulls. That's what I call them. Two pit bulls. Pit bulls. Pit That's bulls. good word right there. Monica is off the chain. I mean, she's a thug. <laughs> so therefore... Wow. Emma, I felt bad for Emma towards the end. That's when I felt bad for her. Because after she recovered, the way she was acting, I was like, Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> really? She was such a bee. She was awful. She was it did seem like she was ungrateful, though. She was. I was like, But, but like, she didn't know, like, But you think it sounds like wasn't like that before she was like that before she was you know in a coma but like we didn't i didn't get that until like after she came out of the coma so it was right. just like about monica and you know mm -hmm. talking to wyatt about how he's treating her sister you know after she got attacked well so-called attacked <laughs> <laughs> so-called attacked <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yes, but she got yes, so call yes, attack. So call attack. I forgot about that. Yeah, and um, when she woke up out of the coma, I was like, "What? Oh, she was awful. How 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 can you stand being married to someone so awful for that amount of years, and then to deal with her crazy sister?" Oh my gosh, she was just overbearing. She was very overbearing. And I was like, and then she, oh my God, the part with her in the van mm. outside the hospital. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you got to get it while you can. Uh, uh, but with, um, with Wyatt's brother? <sighs> Lord. Yeah. I had no clue. That was just like, it was just surprise after surprise after surprise. So where does Wyatt brother fit in, like, character-wise with his brother? His brother, this, this uh, billionaire, and what, is, what does he, he just get gibbles, uh, kibbles and bits from his brother? Yeah, what, bodyguard, and I'm not sure, he wasn't, I don't know what his purpose was, but to be screwing around with Monica, honestly. So. Well, he's supposed to be a bodyguard for his brother. <laughs> What's the bodyguard? You know? But you know, then you know he's he he's supposed to be security for Monica, but that's only so that they can maintain their affair. Yeah. So that that's what I was wondering if that was their affair, and then it kind of played out like she said on that part. That gave you a sense of they had some kind of relationship. Wendy's coming back in. And like I was saying last hey, time, what about his wife? What about her husband? Yeah, there was just... She was never with her husband. Ever. She was over. She was always over at Wyatt or messing with Wyatt's brother or with her sister. Putting just all kind of nonsense in her Yeah, head. and Wyatt's dictating his but life. I, what I liked was when Wyatt finally told her off. <laughs> that was like, I was, that was good. When he, oh, when he told off Monica? When he told Monica <laughs> off, I died laughing. That was like really What about funny. what he did to Emma? Oh, 
Oh my gosh. You know, when I started reading that part, I didn't think it was going to go there. I thought it was going to go left, but <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be a spanking. I thought he was just going to wow. give her I thought he was just going to give her some good loving or something, but I didn't. The spanking surprised me. I was like, wow. What? When he actually pulled that belt out? Yeah, I was like... Because he went up and he was like, well, you know, I should have did this a long time ago. And so I thought, you know, they were going to, you know, get it on and stuff like that. Maybe she'll feel better and all that. When he pulled that belt off, wow. wow. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think she deserved that though. So, um, she was, she was, she was awful. So, I think there could have been another way of him, like, keeping control of that mouth of hers. But, um, that spanking boy. <laughs> that was hilarious. So, that was funny. But, I got to definitely catch up to y'all. Oh, did we not? But there's, there's, no, I'm not. I'm not even there. I'm still. Okay. I'm still okay. where she was in the hospital. Okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna Ellen. read. Ellen's having bad connection. Yeah, I see. I mean, I see y'all. Okay, but um, there it goes again. My message box is gone. I don't know why I keep okay. leaving. And then um, when she got out of the hospital, and the doctor put her on a diet. Is oh it? my god. <laughs> that diet thing, that was super crazy. She went by it. And that's when she went berserk when she got yeah. they call, call it uh what did he say yesterday? Honk angry? Hungry? It's like hungry and angry together. What's it called? Hungry. <laughs> hungry. She, she was she was getting healthy. She was like starting to get healthy and then she was like Wow, when her sister came and just started bringing her all that unhealthy food and jeez, she yeah, she just went off. I mean, she was doing pretty good. And she he, was doing Wyatt, good. He was Wyatt was like taking care of her. He, yep. At that point, I thought that they was gonna continue on with their uh, relationship. I thought so too. Like I was like, wow, you know, like he was taking care of her, sitting by her side. Mm -hmm. The way she treated the maid, oh my god. Oh yes, oh, that was that was awful. Color purple. Yeah, but I and like. She didn't like white cook. She didn't like what white cook for him either. Yeah, for her either. But I like. But he was trying his best. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna step away for a few seconds and I'll be right back. Okay. So uh, I don't see Tracy. No, she stepped out. And, and I can't. What part you, what, where you at? I'm right here. But um, I can't find my message box keep leaving me, so I'm trying to see what's up with that. Oh. You know how you type? Tracy. Tracy says she's there? Uh-uh. Lost her. She so stepped away from me. You you I'm still at where she's in the hospital. Where you at on the book? Where, where Hannah's still in the hospital. Oh, you, you way back there. Yeah. I don't understand why I can't. Um, my message box don't be there. What happened to Tracy? You press hide. Press the word hide. I don't see hide. Well, you know what I say? Add your two cents. I don't see it. It's gone. That's why I had stepped out before. Do you see that? Where I say add your two two. It's there not there. <coughs> That's right. You're on your you on the uh, computer, right? Yeah, but normally I can see it, and on my cell phone I don't see it. See, I see it on on here, and I don't really see it on my computer. So now it's gone. Somebody's writing. Them. Probably Tracy. I'll be back. That's me. Now, I don't see Wendy. I see you. I don't see anybody yeah. else. Yeah, but what? But what do you think about Grace, though? Grace, I, I kind of felt bad for her because she wanted so much more from Cole than he was, like, giving her. And then especially when, you know, she um she wanted more from him and he was, like, 
But he did tell her that. Didn't he tell her that she could be his girl? Yeah, but he was yeah. just kind of doing that for the sake of just smoothing yeah. things out. You know, you know how you have that that magic word, yeah. I love you. I'm just gonna say the love words so you can get them. You know, that's pretty much seemed like what he was doing. He just wanted to I think she was sniffing yeah. and sissing that he liked that. I think she I think she you knew know? though it wasn't gonna but like I mean to sleep. But that, I think they said they had the relationship two years, for two years, but like, right? Yeah. But for two years, they've been doing the same thing. And I don't know why she would expect that he would put a title on it. He didn't put a title on his ex. This is another part no, I want to get to. His, and yeah, his friend. Ex. That must have hurt. Yeah. That yeah, was that like, bad. man. But I still didn't get with uh, with Miles what she was saying, like when they were wrestling and stuff. I didn't get that out of that. I don't, I don't want to give all away, mm -hmm. but Miles, I, I don't even understand how he tried to think that the, the friend relationship yeah. shifted when he started talking to um, mm -hmm. Janae. Yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of shifted. And then I don't see what, but then let's back up a little bit. So when he talked to Janae, he wasn't really giving Janae the right, you know, she wanted yeah. more too. Yeah, that's why they broke up. But then for her to go and talk to his friend or best friend and then yeah. him, wow. And then to have a baby and then I to be know. married and he knew nothing about any of it. They just secretly tell him just bit yeah. by bit. And see, that's why yep. he couldn't trust her. But did you, can you tell that he kept stuff like little? Yeah, of course, stuff yeah, he did. Had. So I, I think he still yeah, had feelings yeah, for he her. Kind of until yeah. Miss Hannah came along. Uh huh. <laughs> Hannah was that bad. Oh, yeah. Before. Yep, she was poison. Up until the end. Wow. I know. That was, oh, man. That had me, that that so had so me flipped so upside so down. down. I know. We can't tell it just No, because Tracy just online. left it hanging. I so know. I have no idea what happened to anyone. Yeah. She says she's not going to make a sequel. I know. She needs to do a sequel. She said it's, it's pretty yeah. much done. It is what it is. Yep. It is what it is. Man. And then with uh, there's Wendy. I am so yes, sorry. Windy right I'm there. trying to multitask. I'm washing. I'm eating dinner. I'm doing all of. It. Oh, she's eating dinner and stuff. Oh, but what do you what do you think about um? What do you think about what Wyatt said that you know they did that 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 uh, contract so to speak about his exchange? What do you feel felt I mean, about that? It's it was. That was a tough it one. It was to because, wow. That was, oh, I can't even. I'm still, I mean, Chase's book is crazy. <laughs> you don't know who to trust. And, um, exactly. With saying I mean, you couldn't trust Monica. You could. I mean, I was really starting to like, like Wyatt. But yeah. But then he just kind of, you know, especially the way he was with um, you know, when when Emma first came back from the hospital and the uh -huh. was taking care of her and stuff like that, and then like when, you know, when Cole at towards the end when he called. And told him he was gonna ask Hannah to marry him. I thought they were like, Yeah, I was like, rooting for that. Yeah, I was like, Wow, cool. You know, Cole White is gonna be at the wedding, and and everything. See, I don't good. know. It seemed like Wyatt had a setup or something because things kept happening. It kept yeah. happening to where it, it, just stuff just kept happening. Yep. And he, I think he like just set the whole entire thing up, and, it, and it, that's what I think. I really up. think that because, and then with um with Hannah saying that she wasn't at Wyatt's house, I was like, I believed her like a hundred percent. Yeah, 
But then when she confessed to Janae, mm. she was like, yeah, I've stabbed or cut someone before. I was like, what? She is so guilty. Yeah, but see, when she was saying that, I didn't believe that. she. I thought she was just metaphorically speaking. Yeah, and I was like, oh my God, she's totally guilty. And but the thing is, with, uh, like I say, with, uh, with Hannah, she just... I don't know. You you can't. You kind of feel sorry for her. Then you want to slap her. Then you want to yeah. hug her. And then yeah, because like when she when I first met her in the book, I was like, oh my god, poor thing. You know, da 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 da. She's this. She's that. And then you know, when she got out of the hospital, she had nowhere to go. But what she yeah. did to Cole? What no? What they all did to Cole? Oh my. All. What they all did to Cole was so completely wrong. Every single one of them is going to pay. Ooh. Oh, she go. She threatening people. <laughs> that was yeah, we was we were talking about Tracy how uh one of the things about with the uh trade that uh you know Wyatt he asked the 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 uh, agreement with Wyatt and Cole mm -hmm. about giving up the badge. I thought that was so cool because I was like, "What could he possibly give Wyatt? He's got yeah. money, you know, and stuff like that." That was so cool Trace. because he was, I love that. He was in love <laughs> with Hannah. That's little. <laughs> <laughs> That that little what? What what was what was she? What was that? I, I didn't quite catch that word. I call her a heifer. I can't use bad words. <laughs> yeah, we wanna we wanna be nice. Yeah. Oh man. I call her a heifer. She, I mean, I was rooting for her. Calling names, calling names. I was rooting for her. Like I actually liked her. I like I felt bad for her. I like her with Cole. But uh, uh up until the end. Poor, poor baby. Poor Cole. I mean, it's like they all played him. Like, every, I think except for because I, I think she played also. Yeah. Yeah. I think Emma got yeah. played also. So I felt bad for her too, like, at the end. But before the end, she was awful. But, like, at the end, like, when um, Wyatt was explaining, like, what happened and why she had that cut and she had passed out and she needed a kidney or whatever she needed. Yeah, I was I was feeling the passion. We want to know why you won't make a sequel. Yeah. Tracy. Wait a minute, wait, wait, what sequel? <laughs> why is there a sequel? Why would you make a sequel to this? Why, is, why would there be a sequel? Died. We don't think everybody died. Why not? Yeah. I mean, Hannah got a bullet to the head. There is no coming back from that. I'm sorry. How yeah. I, mean? I mean, you know. Oh man. Because like, I'm like, hanging. Like I'm hanging. Like I want to know. Like where's Cole? <laughs> where's, where's, where's Monica but, and, and, Wait a minute, um, but what's Wyatt? I thought Wyatt was still alive. Yeah. Wyatt is still alive. Is it Wyatt still alive? Yeah, Wyatt and Grace are still alive. Is uh Cole and, and But what about what about that girl they had what well, whatever her name was? They used Somebody to play. That hired? Yeah. Oh yeah. That, what happened to her? She went back out in the limo. <laughs> yeah, with, with yeah, but I'm saying don't you Tracy, don't you have a little bit of energy to just bring something out of the three of them? No. Grace? Why the girl in there? It's just done, huh? Yeah, it's just done. That just wow. leave it like that. Because <laughs> you really, I mean, okay, you're talking about what happened to Cole at the end, but what about the end? End. Well, the end end was scary. Don't bring that back. <laughs> no. Because I mean, that's too scary. I mean, it, I mean, that was like, oh my God, yes. I mean, to cut off and 
Ew. That was insane. <laughs> and that the, was the, not the, expected. The, 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 um, the dark shadow person. Who the heck yeah. is that? That was somebody that picked up. I don't have no idea who that was. Oh, wait a minute. But is that the same, Tracy, is that the same guy that was messy and kept wanting to mess with Hannah in the beginning? Or is that a totally different guy? No, that's the same guy. It's oh, the yeah, same that guy, guy. got killed, right? That guy got killed. No. 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 I thought he you don't remember killed. what happened at the end? I thought he got killed. The, the guy that broke No, he didn't die. Huh? He didn't die. What? I thought he did. The He's very much alive. No. Wasn't he the one that was in the... I know at the end, end, I don't know who was laying on the table. The guy that was in the closet. Yeah. And then the Yeah, doctor, he's, it's the same guy. And then the doctor... The doctor, is that the shadow guy or no? no. Okay, the doctor, was, okay, okay, okay. The doctor was the one that in the scene he was wearing the Halloween mask oh. and he looked to the boss and said, Can I do what I want? That was that guy, okay, yeah. But That's when the boss looked at him and was like, Yeah, okay, dude, whatever floats your boat, I don't care. Just make sure that he don't do anything like yeah. this again. And well, who was the guy that when um, when he had uh, Hannah in the room, you know, and stuff, and had the laser? Who was the person that was saying, I see you, and had the laser? Was that Wyatt? That was Wyatt, wasn't it? That was yeah. Wyatt, because the guy was going to try to do... All kinds of crazy things. All, all kinds of crazy things to yeah. Hannah. So Wyatt was like... I see you. Yeah. I thought it was Wyatt. You had it at one time, maybe it was just me. I just didn't know who was who and what everything just happened so fast. <sighs> yeah, but there's not gonna be a book too. Okay, we can Okay, Sonia, let's get over it. Let me give you some high fives. Let's get over it. Yes. Uh, um I have to go. Thank you, Sonia. I to go, but I have to go. So we'll catch up again. Wait, wait a minute. Before you guys go, let me see what time it is. Okay. It's after it's nine. nine okay, it's so after nine. Usually try to, yeah, I usually try to do like a whole hour. But anyway, let me, before you guys go, Okay. we have our other book coming up. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it only happened once with Jane Yellow. I yes. Don't know, I know you got your book. And Tracy, I don't know if you're going to join us or what. This is going to be live on May 18th. And we're going to talk about uh, Jane. And uh, did you hear the story? Let me just uh, hey. tell you oh, guys. Yeah. Uh, this is what the story is about. I'm reading the synopsis. It only happened once. is a firsthand account of life lived on the very thin line that separates love from hate and how quickly a person can become abusive and violent. It's a story about losing love, losing children, and losing friends at the hand of one act of escalated domestic violence. It is a story of how God's most amazing love can surface out of the most horrendous act of physical abuse an attempted murder. It only happened once is the story of Jane Yellow and her near death attack that left her permanently disfigured and sent her spiraling into a renewed redemptive life. We need to get out. So that's going to be, um, it's going to be May 19th and we're going to be on in the morning. I don't know if you guys, will you be at work? Um, I know you'll be at work, but are you able to listen in? Sonia, you'll be able to listen. It's 11 a.m. Um, I will try. If it's during the week, if it's a weekday, I will try. It's uh, it's on the nineteenth. Let me look at that. Let me tell you, uh, May nineteenth. On a Thursday. That's on a Thursday. You know what? Yeah, I'll be there because that's break. Okay. Last, good. Um, semester ends on the on the thirteenth of May. 
but I'll still be working, but we won't have any students or be doing any testing. So I'll be able to listen. In. Okay, that's good. That's good. And so we'll be at work. work. You'll be at work, Tracy? Yeah, so I'll, I'll be missing out. Um, and I think, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, um, we'll get, we don't know who online. You know how Periscope, you could tell how many people online. Is there a way of yeah. knowing how many people? Huh? Oh, I don't know. You know, like those that are looking in, because even mm -hmm. though people don't say anything on Periscope, yeah, you see them in there. You know, and they'll tell you how many online. So I don't know about here how they do that. I have no idea. But um, we're gonna start. We can start reading this weekend. And um, Tracy. We're gonna get yeah. off here. Hey, Tracy, can you do a uh, uh, Facebook Live now? Or you don't yeah. like doing Facebook Live? I still don't have it. Well, oh, you I don't still have don't have it. Facebook so, Live. So, okay. Mabel, because I'm gonna go over there to Facebook Live. Are you able to type in? I might be able to. Yeah, because I sent it out to you already. Okay. Um, so, guys, okay. anybody, anybody that's looking on, we thank you for joining us, Tracy Gilmore our local author, awesome book, five-star book. And uh, guys, uh, Tracy, tell them where they can get your book. Uh, you can find it on Amazon and Kindle Unlimited and uh, on my website at uh, tracyhgilmore.blogspot.com. Don't mind stalking me, she's a hater. <laughs> I'm coming to Virginia so I can meet you guys. So eventually, just have to plan it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So yeah. what city you are you in? State you in? I'm in Texas. Oh, you're in Texas? Oh, I'm in Texas. Texas. Huh? Yes, I'm in Texas. But what I would love Texas? to take a trip to Virginia and meet both of you. Oh, yes. so sweet. We're going to have to go midway or something. <laughs> yes. You want to come here? No, I want to come there. Texas Definitely want to come there. Like, I did my... What part of Texas? I'm in Round Rock, like, close to Austin. Okay, I heard of Austin. That's where all the yeah. college people are. Yeah, and when we lived um, there, me and my husband, when we lived there, uh, military wise, uh -huh. we lived in San Antonio. On yeah, Randolph, yeah, that's about an hour away from here. And then, um, yeah, sorry, Kenneth, Kenneth, and I, we all have mutual friends. So that's how I met him. I met him before he wrote his book. Wow, not, not physically meet, but like I've spoken right. to in the military with by mutual friends of mine and they kind of introduced me to him by phone so that's how i and kenneth him. is doing kenneth is doing real well he's going to be on blab may 2nd i believe okay I'm looking forward to joining him on on blab but he's okay. been tweeting it out facebooking it yeah i, I want to say may 2nd i'll check it out in and he did really good he sold out in atlanta yay and in dallas too yeah that is yeah. just awesome. And, and, you know, Tracy, as an author, we were talking about that. Selling out books is not that easy. And he sells out everywhere he goes. No, it's, yeah. it's not that easy. Yeah, it's but, gaining yeah. that popularity. Yeah. But I That's the hard part of the popularity. I recommended your book, Tracy, to one of my friends. She was looking for some books to read. And I told her about Thanks. your book. And she's like... She was like, I've heard about that book. So now that I've read it, I need to tell her to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, just tell her, just uh, get some tissue or just put a hand over. She just tell her she's in for a roller coaster ride. I know, us. I will. Sonia, please say it like this that you're in for a roller coaster ride without a seatbelt. I <laughs> will definitely. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. You all have a good all night. Right. All right. Bye, Sonia. Yeah. I'm going to get you. home and probably try Facebook to Live. get over on Facebook when I get home. Okay. All Going right. to Facebook Live. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for joining us. Ellen Sutter of ESP Presents. Bye-bye.